Hey everyone, in today's video, we are gonna be solving one of the most annoying parts of posting content, and that's actually posting it to different social media platforms. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to create an automation that takes your content and posts it to nine different social media platforms all at once, every single time, automatically. So how are we gonna do this? Well, it's gonna be one part in 8N, and the other part is gonna be Blotato. Now, Blotato is a third-party application created by Sabrina Romanoff. You've probably seen her work before. She's a huge, AI creator on like TikTok and Instagram. But what Blotato allows us to do is we connect our social media accounts to Blotato, and then we use Blotato's API to actually then post all this stuff across the different platforms. And the big sell on Blotato is its ease to actually set up all these accounts. So go ahead, start a free trial, or go ahead, even pay the 29 bucks a month. And once you're inside here, if you come down to the bottom left, you're gonna see settings. We're gonna click that. And then this is where you set up your accounts. It's as easy as just clicking on these buttons and doing like a social media login, right? I log into my Twitter, my TikTok, my Instagram, whichever accounts you wanna start posting to, connect them here, and then you'll see them populated on the bottom under connected accounts. Now what we care about at this point is gonna be our account IDs and then our API access. So we have the actual Blotato API key here as well. Now, just take note of where all this stuff is because we're gonna be coming back to it. We're gonna be taking that information and putting it into our N8N automation, which is actually gonna do the work for us. So here we are back inside N8N and what are we actually gonna do in this lesson? Well, I'm gonna show you how to set up these individual modules so that they're ready to actually post to places. And the great thing about this lesson is that whatever I create here, it's essentially like my social media posting toolbox, right? Now that I have Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube set up, I can go ahead and copy these and then paste them into whatever workflow I'm working on that requires me to post places, right? And I can do that for any workflow I create. Super module, easy to use. And you can see it right here, right? I just copy these three and then I go inside this workflow and you can see that these are all those same Blotato modules. And this is an entirely different workflow that creates videos, but it allows me to automatically post to three different social media sites all at once super easily. And again, I could do that to another workflow and another workflow, like very, very modular. So this automation actually does a whole lot of work for us, not just now, but down the line. Now, as always, this template is in the school. So go ahead and download it and then upload it because that's going to be the easiest way to do this. That way, once you have this template on your canvas, you can just click inside these modules and all this stuff will be set up for you because there's only a few things we're gonna have to do, right? We are going to need to update our text, we're gonna need to update our URLs, and then the account IDs, and that's gonna go for all of them, and then we're gonna also connect our Blotato account. And for this automation, we're gonna need some sort of example to work with. So I also, in the school, have a link to a Google Sheets template that has an example of you know the title, the caption, and an actual video URL that you can use to make sure everything's mapped correctly and working. And this is what that Google Sheet is gonna look like, right? Um, this is part of actually another workflow, so it's actually a real use case. But you'll see here, it has a URL of a video that was created, and then it has a title and a caption. And that's the sort of information you're gonna to need to use these APIs, right? You need the content. Sometimes it will be just a still image, in other cases it will be a video. And then you usually need some sort of title or caption. Some stuff like YouTube requires both. Lots of them, like TikTok and Instagram, you just need some sort of caption, right? And so the way this is gonna work is you're gonna get the contents from the Google Sheet, and you see that right here. We've connected it to the Google Sheet and it outputs certain data. And I'll kind of move this over so it's easier to see. You know, we have the URL, the title, and the caption. And the URL is, we'll take a look at it right now. It's just a video of like one of those, you know, ASMR, pineapple being cut kind of deals, right? So this is what we're gonna be posting. Neat. <laughs> so that's what we got. So the first part of this automation is you're just grabbing that from a Google Sheet and that's the output right here. You can have that be whatever you want. You don't have to use the Google template. Just have some sort of data that you can pull in so we can map it. Next stop, this is where we start going into the potato stuff, right? Ready video in Blotato. Now, what does this mean? So the way Blotato works is we have our content, right? Video, copy, anything. We send it to Blotato first, so it's kind of sitting on their servers, ready to go. And then, then we call the different social media sites we want to send it to. So send content to Blotato, tell Blotato which social media to post it, 
and it goes and does the work for us. So coming back into this module, first thing we need to do is we need to set up our Blotato account. First of all, we're doing post. The URL is going to be backend.blotato.com slash v2 slash media. Again, if you download the template, that will already be there. But we need to set up our account. And to do that, we're going to go to authentication. You're going to do generic credential type. Generic auth type, you're going to come down and you're going to do header auth. And then you need to create a new one of these. So I already have mine set up, but I'll show you how you do it. You do create new credential. You can call this whatever. I'll call mine Blotato demo. And the reason we're doing this is for the follow on uh, modules, we already have the credential set up, right? We don't have to go in every single time and say, hey, here's X API key with my API key and here's header authorization, right? No, we just do it once and then we can copy it over. For the name, you're gonna do Blotato dash API dash key. And then for the value, you're gonna come back into Blotato and you're just gonna copy this API key. You'll come into here, paste it in there. You'll hit save and you'll be ready to go. So once you've done that, go ahead and select the authorization we just created. And now Blotato is pretty much connected. Next, what are we gonna send? Whoops. Next, we don't send query parameters or headers. We need to send a body, right? And the body is the video we're gonna send or whatever it happens to be. So in this case, we're sending a video. So it's gonna be JSON using the fields below. You're just gonna do URL. And then we're mapping in that URL, right? So I just take this and I dump it into here. And that URL corresponds with this, right? The pineapple video we made. From there, we execute the step. And then you see over here, it gives us a new URL, which is essentially the link to like where it's residing inside of the Blotato database, where it's ready to go, ready to be posted. And actually, once you do that, go ahead and pin that data, right? That's always a good thing to do when you're testing these sort of things. So you don't have to run it over and over. And now we can get into actually setting up each account. And so let's start with Instagram and I'm not going to do all nine of them. We'll do the first few. I will take a moment to show you some of the weird intricacies of Pinterest, but the method is essentially the same for all of them. Now, before we actually set it up, make sure you connect it. That way you can see the map data. So we're going to connect this one to Instagram, click inside here, post. This is what the URL should look like. Remember authentication that we set up generic header and Blotato. If you don't see Blotato when you do this drop down menu, just save your workflow and refresh it. And then we need to send the body. Now, again, if you use the template, this should already be ready to go. But if we open this up, let's take a look at what it's asking us. So target type Instagram. Yep. Next content is text. Now remember it's Instagram, so there's no title. So you would be looking at this one, the get contents from Google sheets, and you would take the caption and you would just drag and drop it right in there, right? We talk about platform again, then media URLs, right? This is the big one. This is where you're pulling in from the previous module, right? The get video, ready video in Blotato, right? So we're, we're going inside Blotato's database and we're saying, hey, use this URL here. So that goes there. Now, lastly, this is the important part. This is your account ID. Remember we mentioned this when we were inside Blotato after you connected your accounts? Well, go ahead and go back to Blotato. Go to your connected accounts. And now you're gonna look for Instagram, copy account ID, paste that in there, and you're all set, right? That easy. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna execute the step. And now it's actually gonna go ahead and post it. If you go inside Blotato, on the left-hand side, they have stuff like your API dashboard, so you can see recent API traffic. You can also look at failed posts, published posts, calendars, all sorts of stuff. So you should see a post submission ID. And now I want what I want you to do is go inside Instagram and see if it actually posted. And so here's mine inside of Instagram and looks like we got the full post. Great. So now what I want you to do is to repeat that process for all of the modules you care about, right? You might not care about Blue Sky or Threads or Twitter, but they're all pretty much the same, right? For example, if we take a look at YouTube, remember, make sure to connect um, this Get Ready in Blotato to the module you're using so you can map the data. But same stuff, headers, right? Body's pretty similar. Um, again, notice in YouTube, now we have a title. Also notice stuff like privacy status, should notify subscribers, right? There's, for each platform, there's different kinds of, you know, settings that may or may not be applicable to you. But the things you just need to care about is is this properly mapped? And then the account ID. And again, we go in Blotato, we go to settings, find your account ID, copy it over, and you're all set. And so 
the last one we'll talk about is Pinterest, because Pinterest is kind of weird. Because if we go to Pinterest, right, you look at this one, you'll notice something. You'll notice that there's actually two IDs. We have a board ID and we have an account ID. And when I go into Blotato, there's no board ID, right? I just have, which one's Pinterest again, shows you how much I use Pinterest, right? We only have this, we just have the copy account ID. There's no board ID. So how do we find that? Well, let me show you. So here I am inside of my Pinterest test board, right? And so the board ID is kind of like hidden in the back end, and there's literally only one way to find it. And we're gonna have to do some hacker stuff, okay? You're gonna have to go to inspect after you right click. So right click here, go inspect. You can see all the scary stuff on the right hand side, frightening, right? You're gonna go to network. You're then going to refresh the Pinterest page. And we're gonna see this thing pop up right here, right? You're gonna click that, just click it once. You're gonna to go to response, and again, frightening. What is all this? Well, I'll show you what we care about. It's this, the ID. So if you come up to the top, you should see something that see, says data, and then a few things listed there, node ID, name, URL, and then ID. We care about ID. This is your board ID. So go ahead and copy that. You can get out of this. We're gonna go back into, where are you? This guy, and that's your board ID. Boom. Then account ID, same thing as before. Potato, copy account ID, paste that in there. All set, all ready to go. Now Pinterest will work for you properly. So now once you've gone through each of these modules and you've set it up with the proper account ID and sometimes a board ID and confirm they're actually posting, you're pretty much done. And like I showed you before, now what you can do, this automation isn't meant to actually do the posting. What's meant to happen is you now take these modules, depending on whatever workflow you're using, you copy them over and you start actually using them in real content generation workflows. Of note, make sure this get ready, this get this ready video in Blotato is part of that, right? So I don't just copy over the Instagram one. I need to copy this one over as well, because again, we have to send that content to Blotato's back and have it kind of sit there on the bench till we say, hey, go get in the game, go to Instagram, go to TikTok, go to YouTube, or whatever. Like I demoed before, and we'll move over to here, you'll see that demonstrated here, right? We have the get, we have the ready video in Blotato, followed by YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And if we click inside here, remember in reality, you're gonna have to make sure that these things are properly mapped, right? What that looks like in a real life automation versus what it looks like here, the, the mapped IDs will be a little bit different, obviously. And so like when I look at this YouTube, you know, I had to come in here and say, hey, the title is coming from down here, this update sheets with URL, this text is coming from this place, these are the media URLs, etc. So that's how it works in a nutshell. Again, I think this is awesome because honestly, it is a giant pain to set up the individual modules inside of NADN. Sometimes it's not even actually possible to do. And there's a lot of third-party programs out there besides Blotato that do stuff that is similar, but frankly, it's not as user-friendly when it comes to the actual interface and setting up the account. So if mass social media posting is something like up your alley that you're really trying to do, highly recommend Blotato and highly recommend getting your hands on this automation and putting it to work. So as we near the end of this video, I just wanted to give a quick plug to my school community. And I think it's a great place to check out if you're trying to get more out of AI. We have tons of videos across a number of topics, RAG, marketing, business. And the best part about it is, is you're not expected to know anything going in. It's all assumed that you're a beginner with no technical experience. We have multiple weekly live calls where you can ask me questions. I help you out with any trouble you hit along the way. And we have a thriving community of people who are building as well. So come check it out. I'd love to have you there. So let me know how this works for you. And if you were interested in this automation, the one that actually created that glass pineapple video, I'll be posting this later today. Um, so you can kind of get a real life example of putting these Blotato modules to use. So check out that one, see you around and good luck.